In the world of Christmas lights, you'll sometimes hear the expressions total length and lighted length. What do these terms mean and why is it important? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Most Christmas lights feature what's known as a lead and a tail. The lead is the length of wire that runs from the first light on the set to the male plug, which is the plug that you plug into the wall outlet or to an extension cord to connect your lights to power. On the other end of the light set is the tail. The tail is the length of wire that runs from the last light on the set to the female plug, which is a plug that you can use to connect more light sets to this one if you want. So what do lead and tail have to do with total length and lighted length? Total length is the length of the Christmas light set with the lead and tail included. Lighted length is the length of the Christmas light set without the lead or tail included. Lighted length tells you the distance from the first light to the last. Knowing this can be important if you're trying to calculate the lighted length of several light sets connected together. And here things can get a little tricky, but don't worry, I'll show you how to make it easy. Let's say you want to calculate the lighted length of two icicle light sets connected together end to end. Each has a lighted length of seven feet. You might think that the overall lighted length of the two sets is seven feet times two or 14 feet, but that would be wrong. Here's why. When you connect two light sets together end to end, each has a lead and a tail. If you leave the lead and tail fully extended on both sets, you're going to have a gap between your light sets that doesn't look good, but you also don't cram them right next to each other. Instead, what you do is fold the lead of the second set back over the tail of the first set and tie it off if you like. That leaves you with a nice, longer run of lights spaced the same distance apart all the way across. But it also means that you have to factor that tail into your overall lighted length. That means the overall lighted length isn't seven plus seven, it's seven and a half plus seven, or 14 and a half feet. Sound complicated? Well, here's a simple formula that will help you calculate the right lighted length every time, no matter how many light sets you're connecting together. One, don't count the lead on any of the sets when you're calculating the overall lighted length of multiple sets connected end to end. Two, don't count the tail of the light set that's at the end. If you're displaying only one set, then you don't count the lead, and since it's the only set, you don't count the tail either, so your lighted length is seven feet. But if you're displaying, let's say, three sets, you don't count the lead on any of them, and don't count the tail of the last one. That gives you a calculation of seven and a half plus seven and a half plus seven for an overall lighted length of 22 feet, and so on. No matter how many light sets you connect together, you'll calculate the overall lighted length correctly if you use this formula. I hope this was helpful in explaining the difference between lighted length and total length and why it matters. If you still have questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. We'll answer them if we can, and if the answer is complicated, we'll make a video about that in the future. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button as well. That'll make sure you get more videos like this when we publish them in the future. Good luck with those lighted length calculations. Your lights are going to look great, and I'll see you next time.